It's the annual obligatory top five cities you must consider investing in 2022 show. I make one every year, so I'll go ahead and link the previous years in the description down below. As always, my benchmark is the Alex Bothron Secret Sauce. Take a moment to pause the video to check it out or watch my previous videos where I go into detail about it because I really want to get to the list as soon as possible. For all you naysayers out there, yes, I have been to every single one of these cities. Some I have made vlogs about. I'll go ahead and link those in the description down below as well. And others, I probably forgot my camera or I was too entertained to actually film anything. Regardless, I didn't just randomly Google a list and put a video together. I have actually been to these streets and have made my personal observations. It's also important to add that the real estate market is not immune to artificial pumps like what is currently going on in the market right now, which basically allows any real estate property that you buy to be worth it. We all know that there are some real estate markets that are more propped up than others, like New York and my hometown of Los Angeles. In this list, I make sure that while no market is immune to market corrections, these cities are so fundamentally sound that the possibility that it turns catastrophic is very low. And quick disclaimer, this is not investment advice. While I am a licensed real estate agent in Nebraska and California, I am not your real estate agent. Always do your own due diligence and seek professional help from your local real estate agent if you need any further advice. Number five, Denver, Colorado. I say this all the time. Denver is the nicest city in the lower 48 states. Once you get past the altitude sickness, you'll realize that Denver attracts nothing but successful real estate. Whether you are in Denver or its suburbs like Littleton, Arvada, Centennial, even outside of the city limits like Colorado Springs and Boulder, basically as long as it's not Aurora, because that's where the satellites that are trying to talk to them aliens are at. Even some of the more niche tourist markets like Glenwood Springs are worth taking a look at. Now Denver would be much higher up on the list if it wasn't for its such high barrier of entry due to its price point. The median price point in Denver right now is $530,000 according to Zillow. Home prices have gone up by 18% as of the time of this recording, which is incredible growth by any means, but I don't know if that is sustainable growth going on into the future. Remember, insert caveat here, we're in a weird time in the real estate market. Barring 2020 and 2021, Denver grew at a very, what at the time was a great rate of 7.8%. Number four, Las Vegas, Nevada. Now I know you must be rolling your eyes right now because the first thing that comes to mind when anyone mentions Las Vegas is that flashback of you in your early 20s making a bunch of bad decisions with that one person that you swore you would never, ever speak of again. But I'm talking about real estate here, not your drunken financial and personal lapses of judgment. Remember, in Las Vegas, the house always wins. In this particular case, that real estate house that you buy and lease out will always win. Although I don't recommend anything too close to the strip, unless of course your goal is to have a short-term rental property, then by all means, get as close as possible. I've been more fond of Henderson, Summerlin, and Spring Valley. Las Vegas' median home price is $400,000, which is up by 20% as of last year. Woohoo! No manches. Number three, Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the one video on this list where I don't have any personal video of, but I passed through Raleigh on my way to the Ironman 70.3 race in Wilmington, North Carolina. No, I didn't compete, but I was there to cheer someone on, but we did stay in Raleigh for a couple of nights. There were so many trees. I didn't even realize that we were passing through so many gorgeous neighborhoods because of all that foliage. Oh, and their grocery stores are called Food Lion and Teeter Harris. I wish I could make a joke about that, but they do a really good job of doing it on their own. Since I was with other people, I wasn't able to explore like I normally do. I was only able to check out Carrie and Apex. It's where we stayed because it was the only lifetime fitness with a pool so that I can keep conditioning for my Ironman race. I mean, you gotta use that all access pass whenever possible, right? I was pleasantly surprised by Raleigh, North Carolina. There's definitely plenty of development going on and plenty of room for growth. And at a quick glance, there's definitely future potential. The median price range is $381,000, which is up by 16%. However, before the world ended, Raleigh was growing at a very steady 8.1% per year. Number two, Kansas City, Missouri. It's not only a great place to invest, 
It's also a great place to live. I love the barbecue, I love the vibes, I love the real estate, I hate the Chiefs because I am team Tommy Touchdowns. Now I must clarify, Kansas City is kind of split between Kansas and Missouri. On the Missouri side, I like Independence, Lee Summit, and Raytown, and on the Kansas side, I really, really like Overland Park. Overland Park is where I'm personally looking to invest in my next real estate property. In fact, I'm scheduled to go there the first week of December, and yes, I will vlog that and link it above once it is ready. I already have a Kansas City vlog. I'll go ahead and link that below where I go into detail as to why I love Kansas City so freaking much. The median price in Kansas City is $210,000, which is up by 18%. In Overland Park, where I'm personally looking to buy, it is $389,000. <laughs> I know, I'm bougie. Although, side note, in French, doesn't bougie mean middle class? Now we can't forget the honorable mentions. Phoenix, Arizona, Nashville, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia. Cheyenne, Wyoming, which actually makes an appearance in my Denver vlog. You should absolutely check that one out. And while I have you here, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you have not already, because we're gonna get to the number one on this list, which is Omaha, Nebraska, again. <laughs> Kansas City has quickly become one of my favorite places to invest in real estate. The only reason it is not number one on this list is because Omaha, Nebraska is a carbon copy of Kansas City, Missouri. The difference being that it is cheaper and less well known because Omaha is essentially about 15 years behind Kansas City, if that makes any sense. Like if you ever said to yourself, man, I should have invested in Kansas City 15 years ago. Well, Omaha is your chance to do so. Omaha is exploding in growth and not at an unmanageable level. Unlike say Palmdale in LA County in the early 2000s where they literally had ghost neighborhoods where one house out of a track of 30 homes was occupied. The rest were either empty or left at different stages of the building process. Omaha also seems to be the city with the best long-term potential. It has the room and the opportunities to do so. Commercial, residential properties, all succeeding in Omaha, Nebraska. The median home price is $240,000, which is up 15.3% from last year. Now I know what you're thinking. That's the lowest rise in price in the entire list. And you're right. It's the least artificially inflated. The prices actually match the value the closest. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said I'm looking for fundamentals. In fact, I honestly believe that Omaha and Kansas City are underpriced, but that's just the opinion of one humble real estate agent. Now, I normally don't put any type of predictions into these videos, but these are the videos that get the most views, and I refer to these videos the most. I don't think the prices are gonna go down. Let me finish! Will there be market corrections? The answer is absolutely yes. The Federal Reserve has already stated that they will begin tapering interest rates in 2022. If you hold them to that statement, that means that home prices will begin to level out. At this point, corrections will start to happen. However, I don't see any drastic falls in the home prices anytime soon. So if you are waiting on the sidelines, waiting for you know, the big short part two, then you might be waiting for a very long time. Anyway, question of the day, what did you think about my list? Are there any cities that I should be taking a look at? Are there any cities that you completely hated on this list? Go on ahead and comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Alrighty, well, with that said, this is the end of our show. Hey, shh.